Welcome to Sense and Nonsense A to Z, where we pick topics based off of the letter of the day. Today is episode nine of season two, featuring the letter I. We're family and we're your hosts, A, T, and Z. So let's get started. Hey there, Yorana. Ooh, let's see if I can do this. Yorana. Oh, sort of. Yorana. Roll that R. Uh, nope, nope, <laughs> nope. Some days it'll do it. Some days it won't. Uh, I would have been really screwed if I had to grow up in a language where you had to roll our R's all the time. <laughs> it's Tahitian, by the way. Oh, right on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you today? I'm good. I'm tired. I've oh. been so tired recently. I haven't been getting any sleep. Yeah, I've been having problems myself. So uh, I'm thinking a little melatonin tonight. Oh, that's a good uh, so idea. I, yeah, I think I might have to because I haven't been sleeping either. I give it to my son, but I don't ever take it. No, never? No. Mm -mm. It's not like I can't sleep. I can, oh, but okay. my sleep has been getting interrupted. Oh. So that's the problem. It's not yeah. that I can't fall asleep. I very much can fall asleep. Okay. Uh, things are waking me up. I see. Yeah. Okay. Is it like work related? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just wondering. So there's a lot of stuff going on about interest rates. Um, right now, interest rates are between seven and 8%. <sighs> I know. Well, well, I remember mm -hmm. 16%. Yeah, that's, and, that's rough. And what even better, it was the 21%. Yeah, that's too yeah, high. for mortgage rates, that it's was too very high. high. That was very high. Twenty one percent is like almost a quarter. That's rough. incredible. How yeah, you, that how... takes you right out of the market if you're trying yeah. to buy something. That's for sure. But on the other hand, interest rates for people who are trying to save money, mm -hmm. like for CDs and stuff, at least they're creeping up a little bit. They're not point oh 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 one anymore. Right now, I just did a check on a um, local bank here that does an 11 month CD mm -hmm. for 3.25. So that's not too bad considering wow. that it's been 0 0.001 for Which is years absurd. now. Yeah, that's absurd. Know. It's like, I'm going to give you my money so you can give me a penny. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've been watching the interest rates and the Fed's meeting again next month. So we'll see. All right. A little bit of a bummer happened. What's going on? Robbie Coltrane died. Oh, I He's didn't only even 72. hear that. Oh. Yeah. He was Hagrid in the Harry Potter series. <gasps> right. right. Yeah. yeah. He was in one of my favorite movies, Let It Ride. He was so funny. Yeah. A whole generation of kids grew up with him, though. Yeah, you're right. You know, that's a big bummer. He was he was great as Hagrid. Mm. So we don't know the cause, but yeah. uh, he'll be uh, missed. We won't, yeah, you probably won't hear that for a while now. No, they said he was he's been ill for a while though. Has so. he been? Oh, yeah. I didn't even hear anything about that. Yeah. Oh. I know. That's sad. I know. It's a bit of a bummer. It's a big bummer. Yeah. So I'm gonna watch some Harry Potters in honor of him. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll see if I can cook up let it ride. There you go. I haven't seen that in about a year. That's the best thing to do. Even he said, like, you know, I'll be gone, but Hagrid will live on. So, I mean, yeah, that's right. We're so fortunate that that is mm -hmm. the case with actors. Yeah. Okay, it's time for our I word game. Okay. This should I be interesting. Yes. <laughs> I found my envelope this time, so oh, I've got good. I've got, I've got oh, it. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and I'm ready with a, a pad so I can keep calculations here. Excellent, so, excellent. Yeah, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So you go first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Geico. Insurance. Yay! Yay! That's a fiver. Woohoo! Yep. Mark it down. I just did. You know, too bad people can't see our expressions. I know, know I, mean? I know. <laughs> Planned. Planned. Invitation. Trip. Invite. Attractions. Where do I like feel stupid sometimes? I gotta tell you. 
Um, planned trip attraction. Maybe I'm not getting very clued for this. Ready? Oh, okay. Schedule. Itinerary. Yes. I think I gave you wrong clues for that. The schedule did it for schedule. me. Schedule. Yeah. 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 So what I'm drinking yeah. a lot of coffee this morning, folks. Just so you know, I'm a little <laughs> okay. sleep deprived. Okay, that's all right. So, that's all right. Yeah, you know, that's a two. Two. Yeah, we're, I think we're, that one. I think that one's my bad, actually. Oh, that's okay. Right. This is a team effort. Anyway. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's so, okay. Here's the next one. Um, mosquito. Insect. Yes. All right. Good clip. I tried to think of the most obvious insect, you mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that was good. Okay. Okay, ready? I am. Guilty. Innocent. Yes! Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Another fiver. Woohoo! All right. Eskimo. Igloo? Yes. <laughs> What do you think the chances of that was? I mean, so low, so low. <laughs> it worked out perfectly though. Okay. Okay, we'll fill everybody in. The reason we were giggling so hard is because we had just had a discussion that we're gonna talk about igloos later <laughs> on. So, and of course it came up. Yeah, so of course. What is with our podcast? Synchronicity all over the place. All over. Yep. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Smart. intelligent yes okay now (laughs) i gotta tell you what was going through my mind is okay she didn't do the smart (laughs) you know for ignorant yeah yeah Yeah. so uh yeah yeah it was yeah smart too smart (laughs) (laughs) right okay next one's mine okay lettuce Iceberg? Yes. <laughs> I could have gone the other way. Yeah. Like Arctic, right? Titanic. <laughs> oh. Um. She's holding her head, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Psychic. Ingenious. Gut. Intuitive. Yes. That was the other word that came to my brain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Was it intuitive or intuition or intuitive? Intu- I actually hit it right mm-hmm. on the nose on that one. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's my last one. Oh, okay. Scratchy. Itchy. Good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So that's the end of that. 41. Oh. <gasps> 41 all 41 right again. Yep. nice yep. nice nice yep cool that was a great job that was a great job <laughs> i know i know we hit it that's perfect all right we've got one word left and we're going to use that to parlay into our what do you think of segment okay I don't know about this word I have right here for it, actually. <laughs> what do you got? Important. Uh, I don't know about that. I am drawing a complete blank. Uh, except like really um, important. So what important we've done, decision. That's yeah. the only thing I can come up with. Yeah. So what we've done is in case our last word is unusable for this, we have a backup word. Yeah. So let's use our backup word for this because I think we're just going to have a lot of dead space and that's not going to be fun <laughs> to listen to. So. Okay. Our so backup word is. The backup word is ice. Ice. Ice man. Oh, good one. Ice cream. Shave ice. Oh, Italian ice. Ooh. Shh. Mm-mm. <laughs> ice cube. Good one. Ice tea. Ice coffee. Ice tray. Oh. Ice maker. Good one. Um, ice breaker. Ooh. <laughs> Iceberg. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It's like full circle, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, ice box. Cold as ice. Ice, ice baby. Oh, 
Ooh, <laughs> vanilla ice. There you go. <laughs> we'll end it with that. All that right. was good. That's the that winner. Woohoo! Woo, yeah. All right. So we hope you like that segment. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and leave us a comment keeping it about PG-16. Please. And let us know what you think of when you think of ice. Or important. <laughs> That would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got 10 questions. All right. I edition. What instrument would you like to learn? Oh, all of them. Yeah. Um, I, I regret never having done guitar or piano or drums, anything. I right. would have liked to have learned something but i think yeah. probably guitar and piano are the biggest ones that... right for me i already know piano i tried to learn a guitar it's, it's hard yeah it's hard as an adult you know yeah. but that's the one for me there's still time i know especially, especially the drums they're fun <laughs> They are fun. And yeah. I, I fake drum all the time. All the time. And you know, Paradise I, City. I air guitar all the time. <laughs> you know, that's um, Guns N' Roses song, Paradise City. Yeah. I do the drums to that every time I hear it. And I'm like proud of myself by the time it kicks in. <laughs> and for my air guitar. Yeah. Running down a dream. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. good one. I, I got that with my air guitar. All right. I got that down pat. <laughs> Plus, I have a clue of how to play guitar, but you, you know, know what really sucks about that? My dad knows how to play guitar. Yeah. And he never taught me squat. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, next question. When are you the most impatient? When I'm watching somebody fumble through something I know how to do. Oh. Then I am the most, I just want to be like, just let me do it. Just, 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 just give it to me. <laughs> just, just let me do it. <laughs> For me, yeah, is the grocery store line. Oh, I am the most impatient there. I can't. I can't help it. I really can't. <laughs> exactly. It's like just give me the register. I'll do it myself. <laughs> but I got to tell you, the self checkout that line is always really long. Really? I don't, yeah. No, so that's it's not like, the what? case here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait in a long self checkout line yeah. it's ridiculous when this lady's just sitting there waiting for me you know it's like, see and that's another yeah. thing when i'm standing in the self checkout line and i'm watching these people fumble through yeah checking themselves out oh. it's like how hard is it scan the thing if it doesn't have a scan look up the name come on this is not rocket science exactly there's usually somebody in the area call the person over for oh, god's sake my goodness. I, know. I know i know okay so next one if you were invisible, yeah, what would you do first? Um, something nefarious, I'm sure. <laughs> I am sure. You know, uh, rob a bank maybe or something. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know, know about that. No, um, but I know. I, I know in... it wouldn't be good. No, I, I. Well, what what can you use your powers for good for if you're <laughs> invisible? Yeah. I'm not going to go spy on anybody. Like I'm not that interested not? in other people's lives. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just, I'm just not, no. um, not in that fashion anyway. Like, no. you know, but it sure would be fun for a yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. You know, so something nefarious. Nefarious. Let's, 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 yeah, yeah. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. I'm evolved enough to know that that's true about me. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The last invitation you got. The last real invitation I got was for Thanksgiving in July at my friend's. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? Oh, uh, one of the kids' birthday parties. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 That was the last one. Okay. Next question. Your favorite Italian dessert? That's a toughie because I like Italian desserts. I do too. Uh, I'm going to go with, mm, this is a toss up for me, but I'm going to go with cannoli. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. I thought you were going to go tiramisu. That's a, that's a close, close second, but I love... I love cannolis. I love cannoli filling. I do too. Oh my God, forget it. Yeah. I even had it. named a dog cannoli. I Remember know. Her? Yeah. I don't like when they put chocolate sauce on it though. I, I don't want no, that. No, no. Just, just, just stuff it. Yeah, just, just stuff it. Throw some powdered sugar on it and I'm good to yeah, go. Yeah. It, it, for some reason... Yeah. They've started putting chocolate sauce on it. I'm like, no, you get it. Oh, I like it with the chocolate chips on the inside. Though, That's too. fine. Yeah, okay. I don't want right. them to drizzle don't chocolate drizzle. sauce yeah. on my cannoli. Yeah. It just makes it messy. And soggy. And soggy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
What do you prefer to do indoors that you really should do outdoors? Everything. <laughs> I should do everything outdoors. Um, I prefer to exercise indoors. Yeah, I do too. But specifically is biking for yes, me. Yes. I me really well. should do it outdoors. I yes. really should. Yes. But I really kind of like doing it indoors. So do I. I like yeah. having a fan on me. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't like having getting music on. Hot. And, yeah. 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 Okay. This one's right up your alley. Okay. Best Iron Man movie. Oh, it's got to be number one, right? It has to be. Am I right? Yeah. Has to be. Yeah. While he's figuring everything out. Yes. And doing everything. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. 2008, right? Yeah. Okay. Next question. Ice cream cone or ice cream sundae? I like both. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, but I, I, do I think I'm going to go cone. Do you? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go sundae. Yeah, I'm going to go cone because I'm very specific with my Sunday. Mm -hmm. Whereas I just give me a cone and yeah, I'm good I'm to go. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next question. Name a Billy Idol song. White Wedding. <laughs> first Rebel came, Yell. Yep, that's the first one that came to my head. I mean, yeah. Moni Moni. Yeah, I love them all. Yeah, they're good. I really like Billy Idol. Okay. Yeah. All right, so last question. Okay. An island that you would like to visit? Necker Island. Oh. Yeah. 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 For me, it would have to be one of the Greek islands. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pick Crete. Nice. Because it's a large island mm -hmm. and there's a lot to do. Mm -hmm. Whereas, I, don't get me wrong, I'd love to go to Mykonos, you know? Yeah, yeah. But uh, there's only a couple things to do there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Crete is a big island. So that, that's my choice. Awesome. All right, I have a bonus question. Oh, okay. Would you ever live in an igloo? Absolutely not. Me either. No way. I don't get it. I don't either. I don't want to live somewhere where I have to be fully dressed All every the time. moment. Inside and out. Yeah. Did, but not just like to answer dressed, that question. Like, to answer that question. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> what do you do uh, inside? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like know. I know. In an igloo, yeah, you know. you have to be all the time. You have to be like bundled. Yeah. No. I don't want that. No. No. I'm not into that kind of weather anyway. Me either. I just, yeah. I'm not, I don't get that. I like the changing weather. You know, I like the changing seasons. I like that a lot. Yeah. But that frigid cold? Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Yeah. I'm more temperate, you know, like yeah. the spring and the fall are my mm -hmm. favorites. Yeah, I don't me too. want, you know, I don't understand how you bathe. <laughs> In an igloo? Yeah. You have like, to how does that work? You melt the ice. Oh, <laughs> oh man. No, no. pass. Know. Hard pass. <laughs> yeah. Hard pass is right. You'll never have a need for ice in your, uh, like, iced tea or ice coffee. No. Oh, honey. Can Just you chip off your ice? wall. Just chip, chip off your wall. Here's the chisel Gross. right here. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, no. I've got some stuff that's been in the news, all related to NASA. So first one is the International Space Station. NASA's SpaceX Crew-5 mission launched to the International Space Station on October 5th. So the crew of five is going to spend six months there. Wow. Doing research and technology demonstrations to benefit future launchings to the moon and eventually to Mars. Mm -hmm. By the way, it takes about 16 hours to get there. Wow. Yeah. I kind of think that that wasn't too bad. I kind of thought it was shorter, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, we had an intense solar flare on October 2nd that was picked up by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. Oh. It may have impacted radio communications, electric power grids, navigational signals, and even poses a risk to spacecraft and astronauts. I have a feeling that's why that, that kept on getting delayed. Mm, yeah. yeah. The last thing I have here is that DART mission, Double Asteroid Redirection Test. They just released the information. It worked. It did work. Yeah. All right. So 7 million miles away, this NASA spacecraft that was the size of a refrigerator and traveling at 14,000 miles per hour hit an asteroid that was orbiting a larger asteroid. They had hoped that it would change it by 10 minutes. It actually slowed it down by 32 minutes. Interesting. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So they're calling it. Did it, it not get success. off its course? 
it slowed it down. Slowed it's, it down. Yeah. So th that's what they're hoping to do. God forbid mm -hmm. that we eventually have a meteor that comes to Earth. They were talking about that they would need decades of warning and that they do have their eye on some asteroids and none of the ones that they can see right now pose any threat to the Earth. Hmm. But it's the, a good uh, thing we have telescopes that can see that far and, and, oh, no, and no, you know, no, no doubt. So the asteroid that hit the Earth 65 million years ago, wiping out the dinosaurs, also triggered a tsunami that was a mile high. Mm. So that's new research that just came out as well. That's so cool. That's a study from the University of Michigan scientists. All right. Yeah. Definitely don't want another one of those. No, no. The model for that asteroid that they came up with was 8.7 miles wide. Wow. That traveled 27,000 miles per hour. I know. That's no joke. No, not at all. Need to call Bruce Willis, right? I don't know. He died doing that. <laughs> yeah, so maybe did. somebody else. <laughs> maybe call somebody else. Just talking about space, this just popped into my head because little guy watches Phineas and Ferb all the time. Yeah. And the villain on there, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, he went to space. Okay. And uh, Perry the Platypus, who is a secret agent nemesis, went into space to stop his evil plan, whatever it was. It was, I think it was to move the moon or do something like that. But anyway, he was, was like, it a dart program? <laughs> I don't think so. But, oh, okay. you know, you, you never know with Dr. D. Okay. Um, he was complaining that his his second to last echo was broken. He's like, watch. And he goes, space. And it goes, space, 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 space cookie, space. space. <laughs> I always think of that somehow. It's like cookie. Like that was the thing that they yes. used. It was the best. <laughs> it is. That's so funny. That's great. Time for Pineapple Corner. All right. Let's do this. In for a penny. Season six, episode seven. The cold open, this is one of the rare cold opens that didn't involve Sean. Exactly. It's in 1990 in Florida, and it's Juliet's ninth birthday party. And she was adorable. She was adorable. Yeah, pretty little girl. And she was having a kid's birthday party with a crappy clown. Who and couldn't she, juggle. And she's waiting for her dad to show up with a piece of cake. And it's right. so heartbreaking. And he doesn't, doesn't show, show up. Yeah come to present day and there's a crew of thieves who steal some oxygen tanks and sean goes it's because of the great oxygen drought and gus goes hold your breath people do your part and they go <laughs> and they're holding their breaths and and they're and called they're, idiots yes <laughs> rightfully but so also, but they're also planning juliet's 30th birthday party they are and on sean's list he's got an inflatable bounce house Yes. A slip and slide. Right. And he's going to add two ginormous ponies. They're but apparently they're... called horses. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he spies on Juliet's desk a birthday card. He's like, whoa, somebody already sent you a birthday card. Who's it from? And Juliet reluctantly tells him that it's right. from her dad and that he wants to come up and see her for her birthday, but she doesn't want him to because he's not really presentable. Right. So, of course, Sean ignores that. <laughs> To, he does the opposite because he, he knows opposite. women. Yeah. 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 And Gus is like, I don't think that's right. <laughs> because when a woman complains about a personal issue, she doesn't want the man to just listen. She wants him to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. So down they go to meet Juliet's father and they hijack Tito Nagasaki and Bob Jones's tea times with Juliet's dad. Right. And they walk up to him. They're like, hello. <laughs> and he's like, you don't look like Tito Nagasaki and Bob Jones. And Sean goes, I've been told on many occasions that I am a spitting image, <laughs> image of Tito Nagasaki. And if this guy doesn't look like Bob Jones, well, then I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> so Frank O'Hara is played by William Shatner. Which is great. Which and is absolutely great. He does a perfect he really job. Does. He oh, really my does. goodness. Oh, yeah. So they're at a private golf course. Right. And... Sean introduces himself and then he says, this is my partner, Ingle Woods, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> it's so good. Ingle Woods. Yes. Oh my God. And he tells Juliet's dad that he's dating his daughter and he's right. like, oh, 
Let's play a few holes and have a few drinks back at my chateau. Chateau? (laughs) The guys are very impressed by this. After some cursory introductions and duly impressed over this crazy chateau, Sean's like, why haven't you seen your daughter in 15 years? And he wants to broker a reunion between father and daughter. So they head back to Santa Barbara and they tell Jules that her dad's coming to her birthday party and Jules is mad. She is upset. Because he's a con man. Yes. So we flip back to the oxygen thieves. They wind up breaking a guy out of Lompoc prison. Jimmy Fitz. Jimmy Fitz. And he's a safe cracker. And yep. Frank knows the escapee. Yeah. And Jules doesn't want his insights. So Sean winds up hiring him at Psych so that he can stay around this investigation. Right. Because, because he has inside information on this type of uh, behavior. And also, he says he misses his daughter and he's right. recently turned a corner. And I accept the fact that it was only 11 hours ago, <sighs> but he's going straight. So he's involving himself under the premise of ingratiating himself to her. Sean and Frank have a total love fest going on. Oh, yeah. Because they're basically the same person. <laughs> you know, it's pretty funny. They, At one point, they even chest, chest bump. bump. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. It's so funny. And they both have their hands in their pockets, it too. Bad. I mean, it's it so was good. Bad. They're yeah. saying the same things at the yeah. same time. And they're giving each other ridiculous props. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's just a love fest. So yeah. Frank indicates that Jimmy and his crew are going to steal this rare coin, this penny. And he sets it all up so the Santa Barbara Police Department goes down to this coin expo. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the penny is at a safe deposit place. And while all the police are at the expo, the safe deposit place gets robbed and the Mm -hmm. penny gets stolen. So it turns out that Frank stole the penny. Right. He cons Sean and Gus. But they wind up figuring it out and they go and they give him till tomorrow to tell Jules that he's done this. And Frank can't do that. He didn't know how to come clean about it. So he pins it on a bad guy, the oxygen thief. And all is going well until he says this one phrase. When he was being interrogated. The penny wound up on his nightstand and he's like, it's like somebody came in through the window window, like like a ghost. And that triggers for Juliet because he used to do that to her when she was little, leaving her little gifts and stuff. Yep. And so she figures it out. Right. There's a part that he says, you know, when they're calling him a con man and he Mm -hmm. says, I prefer to be called a confidence man. Yeah. Yeah. Like Robin Hood. Yeah. Like I've been, I've been called by my peers. Yes. Robin Hood. (laughs) I con from the rich and give to myself when I'm at my poorest. (laughs) And they go, aren't your peers also con men? He's like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the way he does it, though, he's so smooth. He's oh, so... It, he's such a good actor. He really is because yeah. you feel like he is sincerely sorry. Right. But also he can't help himself. Yeah. And he wants a relationship with Juliet, but he doesn't really know how to be in a relationship with Juliet. Mm-hmm. So he does sincerely apologize. He does get the bad guys in the end. He does help them out with that. And he does wind up going to Juliet's birthday party. Right. And, you know, they're working on it, you know. Yeah, he, he's yeah. definitely working She's on it. She's a softy. You know, is. she really is. Of course, Sean is working on it too. And at one point, she's very angry with him. And both he and Gus... She, he's like, are we in the doghouse? And she's like, no, no, you would have to work very hard to get to yourself get in the doghouse. Yes. And he's like, are we in the pound? No, well, are we in the yard? Yeah, oh, or at least we're in the, in yard. the yard. She's like, no. no. He's like, are we in the pound? In the pound? I don't want to be in the pound. Is Gus, Is Gus with, with me? <laughs> we could get adopted together. Yeah. There's a couple of things. I did a little research on this. And by the way, no pineapple in no this one. No pineapple. Yep. Mm-hmm. The name came from the old adage, in for a penny, in for a pound. Mm -hmm. And it translates, I think, now to all in. Kind of like that better than the the old adage. Um, I did a little research on the penny, too. 1943 bronze penny is a thing. Yeah. But it's not worth two million. Oh. Yeah, it's worth like between 100 and 125,000. So even in the in the show, they're like, I thought you said it was worth a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, that's correct. That's actually correct. So yeah. What had happened at the mint is that the mixture was wrong. Um, and there was about forty of them that got pressed. 
and they're saying that only about 15 of them have been found. Wow. Yeah. So they're still yes. floating around. They're probably yeah, in so the garbage somewhere. Probably. People throw pennies away all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's nothing. But, I know. Yeah. That's all I have too. They, they also did, um, they did a little plug for autotrader.com. Yeah, they and did. One, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that was part of William Shatner's contract to do that. I but, don't know, but the masks. Yeah. They used his, his mask, his Michael the Myers Captain mask. Captain Kirk mask. Yeah. 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 I know. I thought it was interesting. And the, the van that they were hiding out in was O'Brien's catering. And O'Brien was chief on Next Generation. And oh. also he was on Deep Space Nine. Oh, wow. How yeah. About that? So, cool. yeah. So they did a lot of I love of when they do like stuff that. like I know, that. I do too. Yep. I do too. This is what makes this series so interesting. It, and it so really does. fun. There are so many references. And, you know, I just love William Shatner. Oh, so. and that's the reason we did this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And he does recur a couple of times in the mm -hmm. series after this. Yeah. And it's always nice one. when he pops up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes. So I have a little sports thought for you. Okay. And some information too. The NFL came up a couple of years ago with this international series. So far in 2022, we've had the Vikings and the Saints go to London, the Giants and the Packers go to London. October 30th, the Broncos and the Chargers are going to London. Mm -hmm. Then November 13th, the Seahawks and the Bucks are going to Munich. Ooh. I know. And then the last one of the series is the 49ers and the Cardinals on November 21st are going to Mexico City. Wow. So what do you think of that? What do you think of our NFL teams traveling abroad and, you know? I think it's smart to try and drum up fans mm -hmm. for it, international fans, because, you know, so that's how soccer came to America. Oh, yeah, definitely. But... I think that they messed their schedule up because they should have put the Munich game during Oktoberfest. They would have had a ton of people hmm. attend because people would have come from all over to go to Oktoberfest and hey, why not catch an NFL game while you're there? While you're there. Sure. Um, I think it's a good idea. I think they are getting a follow. I know a lot of English people who watch American football. Yeah. But, but yeah, they, they do. You, you know, know, and it's it's weird because you got to turn on the TV at nine o'clock in the morning on the East Coast. Yeah. To see that game. Yeah. I can imagine the West Coast. The West Coast got to get up at six to see a game in London. It's wild. It's, yeah. It is wild. But yeah. but it's it's a good idea. It's mm -hmm. a good idea. I, I think they probably would be better spreading it out a little differently. Mm, but um, it's the still, only, the it's only still thing. Early. Yeah. The only thing is it's it's kind of hard on the players very hard on the players you know you're gonna not get a lot of sympathy for that because in in soccer or yeah. european football they go all over all, over. Yeah. all the time and yeah. rugby is the same so they don't care mm -hmm. <laughs> their, their attitude <laughs> fans is, don't care <laughs> is toughen up buddy you know yeah. like this yeah. is normal for us if you're gonna play put on your big boy pants yeah if you're gonna play in the international community <laughs> right. Right. you know suck it up yeah so yeah. yeah definitely. So, so there's a schedule for you too. Awesome. For it's great to me, I thought we would talk about icons. Okay. Now, icons are very important in the Greek Orthodox religion. Mm -hmm. They're not something that you actually worship. They're kind of considered like a window to the heavens icons comes from the Greek word ikona. They're also called ayografia, which is holy writings. Icons can represent Jesus, the Blessed Mother, of which that's really the main icon. Um, you know, saints, the Holy Trinity, angels, heavenly ghosts. They're not drawings. They're like, almost like a supernatural kind of image. It, it's hard to describe. Can you describe the icons that are in the churches and it's like, um, it's a representation is what it it's is. It's kind of like a lithograph. Okay. I mean, they're drawings, obviously not, right, they're not right. photos, but they're, not, but they're, 
they're not photos they're not actual drawings yeah they're like, it's weird it's a yeah. weird in between yeah, type of yeah, thing exactly so the thing that you do is you pray to it and it's almost like when you're in front of the blessed mother icon you're praying to her like she's almost listening right whenever you go into a greek orthodox church usually it's domed and in the dome would be usually they have the blessed mother in the dome but i've seen some that have jesus in the dome our altar is different than the catholics the altar has like a wall of icons mm -hmm. and then in the back of the wall of icons is where the table is and the holy water and all that stuff actually in a Greek Orthodox religion a woman is not allowed to go into that altar area mm -hmm. but it's a raised platform and a wall of icons some of the icons are actually doors in the open and the altar boys go in and out and the priest goes in and out mm -hmm. two points I just kind of wanted to make there's always like a foyer area of churches a area that you light a candle say a prayer as you're lighting the candle and then you go over and you do your cross in front of a one of the icons usually there's a jesus one and a blessed mother and you kiss the icon we do a lot of kissing we kiss the icon we kiss the cross these women put this lipstick on before they go to the church mm -hmm. and usually it's like hard red lipstick yeah and all you see is all these lipstick marks on these icons. And I can remember being a little kid going, ew. Yeah. And I would pick a spot like at the corner and like kiss the corner where I thought that nobody would, you know, it's, it's like lipstick marks all over. I, was like, I bet you they do don't that? do that anymore. Uh, yeah, they do. Even during COVID? Oh, you mean, recently? No. Honestly, I haven't been to a Greek Orthodox church since COVID. Very unsanitary. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> and it, and it's icky. It's like, come on, people. You know, you know somebody else is going to have to kiss the icon. Take the lipstick off before you kiss no. your lips. Oh, no. 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 That's no. not going to happen. No, not at all. No. Mm -mm. Any other thing, if you ever go into an old-timer Greek Orthodox house, they'll have a setup like at the top of a dresser or something or top of a table and it's usually more of a private rather than like in a living room it's usually in like a second bedroom i've seen it in somebody's walk-in closet they converted that to an area and they'll have icons they'll have a icon light in greek we call it a gondili and um you know maybe some holy water there and that's where you say your prayers. I just remember being a kid and whenever I would go to my ayahs, right. you would go in the bedroom yeah, and stand in was, front of the dresser with all the icons. It was icons, in her bedroom. That's right. And she would stand behind me and mm -hmm. fold my hand, I mean, tight into the prayer position to do your cross. Yeah, your fingers. Your, your, your fingers. fingers. Yeah, the Father, and the she Son, would the Holy hold, Spirit. Right. She would hold my hand in yes. a vice grip. <laughs> <laughs> and stand behind me with my left hand on my stomach and my yes. right hand in her hand. That's right. And she would do the cross and say the prayer. And I would just right. stick because I didn't know what she was doing. But we would do the whole thing. And yeah. then she would tilt my head and I would have to have holy water. Right. And if I was ever sick or anything was going on like that, it, we did that, but we did it special. And then she would cross me and, and bless me extra right. with the holy water and everything. It was a whole to do. But icons is a main thing. You, you got to do it in front, front of, of the that. Icon. Yeah, yeah it was always it in, front in of an icon. the same yep. spot. It didn't matter where we were. It was like, oh, schlep it into the bedroom, and yeah. here we go in front of the icon. Yep, so exactly. That's that's my memory of of doing that. And when my son was born, we had to take him in, mm -hmm. and she did oh, yes. him yeah, in she, front of that. She as blessed well. him. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh -huh. absolutely. Well, my mother was very religious. Very. Yeah. The most religious person I know was my mother that yes. i've ever met as a yeah. matter of fact yeah 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 exactly mm -hmm. very important in a greek orthodox religion is yep. icons i just want to give a quick shout out of condolence to angela lansbury's friends family and fans because the 96 year old actress died last tuesday Aww. yeah loved a murder she wrote oh, i did too 
the little teapot and Beauty and the Beast. And she had a long career. She did. She was yeah. a mame. She, yes. She got a lot of Tony Awards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was nominated for Emmy like 15 times or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she was a talented actress. Yes. And she will be missed. Very much so. Good? Yeah. And anything? Okay. No, I got, I got nothing. All right. So if you enjoyed this episode, remember to tell your friends and follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Sense and Nonsense A to Z, all one word. And if you're listening on YouTube, remember to like our episodes, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to hit the notification bell Ding! to get notified of each episode as it becomes available. We appreciate you listening. With that, we're out of here. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week.